Ana Dagbashian and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast, Hachkar, Documentation, Preservation and Continuation, Lecture Discussion. Will Russia enter Nakhijevan? The intrigue of the damaged helicopter. Bitcoin cost exceeded $40,000. The Armenian church in Konya is becoming a cultural center. Danger of fugu fish in Lake Van, Western Armenia. Yerevan among 21 places Ryanair offers to see in 2021. Dear compatriots, the National Association for Armenian Studies and Research, in cooperation with the Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture, will present a lecture discussion dedicated to the documentation and preservation of Khachkars on January 9 at 10 p.m. The participants are Arga Maivazian, Hamlet Petrosian, Rafi Kortosian, and Gayane Movsisian. The erasure of Armenian cultural history in Nakhijevan is one of the most underreported acts of cultural destruction in the 21st century. The year 2020 marks the 50-year commemoration of the final phase of this systematic destruction when in 2005 the Azerbaijani army destroyed thousands of remaining Khachkars in Juha, Nakhijevan with sledgehammers, effectively eliminating the last remains of Armenian culture presence in the region. UNESCO had designated these monuments as cultural identity but took no action to protect them. This program will be the first of a series to raise awareness throughout the world about this act of cultural destruction, as well as the artistic, cultural and religious significance of Khachkars through the ages, ongoing efforts at preserving ancient ones still standing and the art of Khachkar today. Registration is required in advance. During the investigation of the case, there was a need to conduct a number of investigative actions, in particular to clarify the identity of a number of suspects and some of the circumstances of what happened. In this regard, a request for international legal assistance has been sent to Azerbaijan. A source familiar with the case of the Russian military helicopter crash told Interfax. It became known yesterday that the Investigative Committee of Russia has requalified the case. The criminal case previously initiated on the fact of violation of flight safety rules is now being conducted on the grounds of premeditated murder. It is obvious that the requalification has not only legal but also political significance. The question remains, which is a foreign state, Azerbaijan or Turkey? The Russian helicopter was shot down on the evening of November 9 when the issue of a trilateral ceasefire agreement was being discussed in the Yerevan Moscow Baku format. This lesion is actually taking new shades. Will Russia use the helicopter issue for forcible entry into Nakhijevan? Of course, it is only about the possibility of a law enforcement entry. In fact, there is information that is being leaked from an authoritative Russian resource that Moscow has applied to Azerbaijan for Musha legal assistance and investigative actions aimed at finding out the circles of suspects. First of all, it means that Moscow expresses mistrust towards Beku in terms of investigation, gradually approaches the ambition to enter Nakhijevan and in fact prepares a ground for it. According to the portal CoinMarketCap, the Bitcoin has risen in price by 14.83%, up to $40,146 on first day. At Binance, the largest cryptocurrency trading platform, Bitcoin rose with 15.05%, reaching $40,121. Approximately 69.1% of the global cryptocurrency market belongs to Bitcoin. Bitcoin price skyrocketed in the second half of December. Since December 16, the cryptocurrency has reached the highest level of all time, $20,042, and since then continues to set records. In the first two days of 2021, it crossed several signs rising from $30,000 to $34,000. Today, on January 8, the value of the cryptocurrency is 1 Bitcoin fluctuates in the range of $36,000 to $39,500 US dollars. The renovation of the Armenian Holy Trinity Church in Konya Akshehir province has been completed. The restoration of the church started in 2070. However, the Turkish authorities decided to turn the Holy Trinity, one of the largest Armenian churches in the region, into a cultural center. As reported by Akung.net, the correspondent of Akos weekly newspaper Ferda Balanja reports, according to the source, Armenian Church will become the World Art House of Satire Masters based on the decision of Akshehir District Municipality. The source also reports that according to the data presented in the monograph Armenians in the Ottoman Empire before 1915 by Raymond Gevorkyan, 4,950 Armenians lived in the Akshehir province before the genocide against the Armenians. Along the Holy Trinity Church built in 1859, 
there were four Armenian educational institutions in this province, among which the school after Saint Stepanos became famous due to its high professional quality. In the city of Van, Western Armenia, a fisherman was recently poisoned by fugu fish caught from Lake Van, after which the citizen died. The fugu fish reached Lake Van with fish from the Mediterranean Sea. This fact gave rise to wrong interpretations. Some social media news channels spread information that the fugu fish came out of Lake Van. Dr. Mustafa Akush, a lecturer at the Faculty of Water Resources of the Handrif University of Van, said that fugu fishes do not live in Lake Van adding that the fish were mixed with seafood from the Mediterranean provinces of Antalya and Mersin. According to him, fugu fish is one of the conquering species from the Red Sea to the Mediterranean Sea. Of course, this reality in Lake Van is both interesting and sad. In fact, hunting this fish includes getting some permission. Since a large number of fish were transported, it is possible that they were fixed with other fishes and authorities missed it. Armenian Embassy in Italy made the following post on its Facebook page. Armenia is among 21 destinations to visit with Ryanair in 2021. The airline confirmed this in a press release. Located on the border of Eastern Europe and Asia, Armenia is a growing tourist hotspot that has something for everyone with its historic sites, exciting culture, extreme sports and delicious Armenian cuisine. Its capital Yerevan is nicknamed the Pink City because of the colorful volcanic stones on which it was built centuries ago. If you are looking to broaden your travel horizons after a quiet 2020, this could be just a unique trip that's needed in 2021. Now we present you Yarkhushta by Masung. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.